stellar production. It is bigger than Gloomhaven. <laughs> I don't think anyone was expecting that. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and we'd like to welcome you to Teradice. And today we're taking a look finally at the Everdell Complete Collection that includes New Leaf and Mistwood. It was just our fulfilling around the world from their latest Kickstarter right now. Rewind to March of 21, and we were previewers on that campaign. So we're gonna revisit it now, talk about what's new since we saw it, and give you the lowdown on all things Everdell. So not only are we doing an overview of the complete collection and the storage over here and New Leaf and Mistwood, we are going to be doing the biggest giveaway we have ever done on this channel. So thanks to Starling <laughs> Games, we have received our copy of the complete collection and now we have decided to give you our like new copies of Everdell, including brand new New Leaf and Mistwood, our copies over here. So. Stay tuned to the end of the video if you want to find out how you can win this amazing collection and it is Jonathan's favorite game. So we are excited to pass it on to you. With all that being said, let's go ahead and check it out. So Everdell is an extremely popular game done by Starling Games <laughs> and Jonathan has been quoted saying it is his favorite game of all time. All time. And I absolutely love it as well. And it is a beautiful thematic story. For those that do not know Everdell, you play as different woodland creatures and you are trying to build up your town with tableau building and worker placement by sending animals out into the forest to do different jobs and different tasks throughout the season and the village with the most points and most successful village at the end of the seasons they are the ones to win so let's talk specifically about new leaf we knew some information going in when we did the kickstarter review back in 2021 but let's dive more into what didn't we see what did we finally get to do when we played it this time yes so new leaf is a uh adds to the world. So every expansion that we've gotten so far adds a big modular piece to the board. So mm -hmm. we had Spirecrest, which took you to the mountains. You had Belfair, which took you to this marketplace. You had Pearlbrook, which took you underwater with these frog ambassadors. And now finally, Everdell has grown big enough that we have our first official city. So we have a train station and everything. So this new board is gonna add a train station, which is gonna be having new visitors coming in. It's going to have three new cards that function similar to the meadow, uh, but but they're also going to let you offload some goods off of these train cars. So you got these little like coal cars that have, uh, you know, pebbles and twigs and other goods that you might need. So it's a new way to get resources in the game. Mm -hmm. Now you also have these visitor cards and the visitors can be picked up at any point in time. And when you fulfill certain requirements by having a certain number of critters of a certain type, uh, or things like that, you're going to be getting points for those at the end of the game. So they're new sort of end game scoring victory conditions that you're going to be picking up probably maybe two or three of throughout the course of the game. Yeah, they were another fun challenge to do and you can pick those up before you achieve that. That's what I like too. It's not like yes. the other events like mm -hmm. in Belfair. But what I really enjoyed is that the artwork is so cute for these and then the creativity with the names is super adorable and very thematic. Um, and also with the New Leaf expansion, you're gonna get what, a train ticket. So what that can be used for, you can use it twice during the game and it basically lets you send out another worker. So uh, you it lets get- you redeploy Lets you redeploy a worker yeah. into another <laughs> space, which it was just really satisfying to do. I was actually surprised when it happened that this hadn't been in an expansion before. So it was really satisfying to be able to do that in the game. It was, yeah. An interesting thing about that ticket is that the first one can be used the whole game. The other one can only be used from uh, from summer on, I think. So it, it gives you a limit on which seasons you can mm -hmm. use that during, which I thought was cool. Mm -hmm. There's a couple other modules. Uh, you also have these reservation tokens. So you have this little wax seal that you can reserve a, a card from the meadow. And uh, basically when you do end up playing it, it's gonna cost you one less resource to play. And then that seal you're gonna get back at the start of the next season. Mm -hmm. So once per season, you can reserve a card as your turn, yeah. which I thought was another really good way. There's, there's two things that they actually did to help you turn that deck a little better. Uh, one of them is the reservation token, which lets you pull things out, pay for them later. The other was they actually gave you a new slot on the board where if you go there, you get to discard cards, replace them, draw cards, right. and then replace them. So you can get up to nine new cards on the board with that action. Game changer for a two player game where yeah. you're not really interacting with the meadow as much. Yeah. Uh, what I really liked about New Leaf, I felt like I just, 
used it a lot more. I felt like I was opposed to the other expansions where mm -hmm. maybe I would yeah. use it a couple times or in Pearl Brook, it was really hard to get those pearls. I didn't feel like I did it that much. I felt mm -hmm. like I was constantly going to New Leaf, the New Leaf side of the board and using it and found it very helpful. It was, yeah. yeah, for sure, definitely. Those end game points are great. The resources you can get from over there. It's also three new meadow cards, mm -hmm. essentially, uh, which I thought was really helpful. Yeah. Now the cards we've talked about before, so we won't go into a ton of detail, but the game changing cards that you have in there, number one, there is a through every seasons module that replaces all the farm cards mm -hmm. so that every farm is different. Instead of just being one berry, you have some that are berries and twigs. You have some that's like caved in and it's like you can discard it as the mm -hmm. green activate, which means when you get to that final season, you can actually discard it and open up that space in your uh, on your board. Mm -hmm. They also have several cards that don't take up space in your city. There's like a main road that adds an additional space. And then they added a few new cards that help you remove cards. Uh, so you had the dungeon before, which would help you kind of sack a, a critter or two. Uh, but now you have the magician that can go poof and yeah. things disappear. You have the inventor who works much like the crane. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you have a few ways to kind of churn through uh, replacing your city as the game goes on, which makes it a lot more, you get a lot bigger scores at the yeah. end of the game. New Leaf yeah. also allowed you to, I would say, churn, like change out things in the city, but also add a lot, like, like a lot of cards, like air, hot air balloon, would be like this doesn't count as a space in your city, which but it did something yeah. helpful, which I found like that a lot. In addition mm -hmm. to all these other parts, it also comes with a lot of new characters that you can play with, um, yeah. which <laughs> I loved. They were so cute. So mm -hmm. you have like I'm gonna cats and we I played with the bumblebees which I really enjoyed. I played the spiders. Yeah, I like the them. The spiders are good. And snails. then and then um I just oh yeah you played the snails. We played yeah. bats on bats and uh spiders. Rat, spiders on Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Um but what I enjoyed is that their player powers are super unique and it really changed it up. I enjoyed it really playing into those powers. It really really does. And I think mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite things about Everdell. It's like the game starts and the first thing that I do is I say, all right, here's like what, 30 some meeples, mm -hmm. you choose which one you want. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, I don't know, yeah, I'll take these yeah. ones. And, and it's, it's fun. correct me yeah. if I'm wrong, the stickers to be able to go over those meeples, that is, you have to buy those separately? Um, that's a great question. Um, there's a sticker sheet uh, for meeples. I don't know if those are in here. Um, so I'll can, double check, I'll yeah. put it right here. We'll put a link to yeah. everything that, uh, so basically we're gonna be doing a giveaway at the end of this. It's gonna be for everything that that we own, including a brand new New Leaf and Mistwood. Um, but if there's a couple odds and ends that are in the complete collection that uh, you may want to pick up that we'll send links to, you can buy them yeah. today. But yeah. as I was <laughs> mentioning stickers, I just mentioned that now because when normally I hear that like people are like, oh, put like, I give there's stickers you can put on your meatballs. I'm like, oh, that's so tacky. I can't stand it. And I, John then <laughs> told me it was in New Leaf and I was like, no, I don't want to ruin the aesthetic. Oh, I was wrong because they are beautiful. I ain't my own words. Um, we have not committed to the <laughs> stickers yet, but I am tempted. So They're that's all I'll cute. say. So for me to say I am tempted to stick a sticker on it, uh, that shows you that they look good. So, <laughs> so that is yeah. an overview of New Leaf. And now let's dive into the solo and two player module of Mistwood. Okay, so this is something that surprised me a lot. Honestly, I heard about this Mistwood Nightweave solo mode, which essentially is the spiders are coming out to cause mischief in Everdell, yeah. um, and they're gonna like take things over. This so. was totally new for us. We only were given a description um, during the Kickstarter preview. We were not given anything to play with yet. So this was a new experience for That's us. That's correct, yeah. So. The first thing that uh, you'll kind of notice when you open it up, the deck is like this big. <laughs> so they give you like a hundred cards related to this solo two player mode. Uh, and that's because you have uh, basically the round cards which say what the spiders are doing and where they're going, but you also have these plots and plans cards which give you a specific challenge to face that game. So it says whenever I do this, they're gonna score points or whenever I do this, I have to do this as well. Uh, and then there is um, a personality card for uh, Nightweave, who is this mega meeple, uh, kind of like the big meeples in Spirecrest, who's going to be moving around the board at various times and just causing chaos. Uh, so in one of the games we played, uh, when Nightweave lands on a meadow space, all of the adjacent meadow spaces uh, to Nightweave you actually have to replace the card you take with a card of the same suit. So if I wanted to take a blue card from the board, I had to replace it with a blue card from my hand, uh, which was a really interesting challenge. And that just came from one of the many cards that, that can be tied to Nightweave. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and yeah. what I think was fascinating is that uh, you could actually play this with two players. You don't just have to do this as solo, which I was super excited to do because I'm not a huge solo player. So I was like, man, I'm not going to probably have a chance to play Mistwood, but I did. And it was <laughs> awesome. Um, I would you so I didn't feel like she affected me as much as I thought she was going to that's an interesting point yeah. and that's because we played it with New Leaf so uh, when you combine uh, Mistwood with any other expansion which you can do it's gonna change up the rules a little bit and one of the things that this meant was that Nightweave had a lot more locations she could go to and she kept somehow ending up over in the train station so I was always rolling a seven eight nine you know you know at the, the end um, so uh, I would recommend if you really want the highest interaction with the Nightweave solo mode uh, that you just play with the base game yeah. uh, just so that you can kind of all be in a really tight space. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. And I could definitely see the appeal of people that are really into solo really enjoying being able to play against that bot. Um, for the two yeah. player, I enjoyed it, but I also, it was the maintenance of having to, you know, play a bot as well so but you still got to enjoy that solo mode yeah yeah so uh, basically the way it works on every turn you're gonna draw this card it's gonna have a series of actions that happens based on what the season is and there's gonna be a primary action that you probably do a secondary action if that's blocked and then if that's blocked there's a third action you can always do but there's sort of like a tiebreaker too of like you know I would have gone in this space but I'll go in this space because there's someone there so there's a little bit of thinking if you're familiar with solo modes it's gonna be a breeze uh, but it did take quite a bit of time for us to kind of figure out how to actually use it. Uh, that said, I don't think it was a bad thing. I think that it was a perfectly designed uh, solo mode, but it just, it takes a little bit of brain power. So that is the Mistwood overview. So let's talk about this complete collection, <laughs> which is currently bigger than our daughter. Um, <laughs> It's, it's, this thing is huge. It's, yes. It is so... I just have the lid right now. This yeah. thing is the biggest game we have. Maybe, um, maybe we'll have to bring her out let's, and Let's get Gloomhaven. Okay, so here is Gloomhaven, which, as you can see, it is taller. Uh, hold it behind it. It is longer. <laughs> and it is, like, almost as thick, right? Yeah. Is it? It is. Yeah, it's, like, about the same. Yeah. So it is bigger than Gloomhaven. <laughs> I don't think anyone was expecting that. It is mm -mm. it is massive. It's heavy too. <laughs> that was just the box lid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you open it up, and wow, just just wow. I have to say, this is a masterpiece. It is the most impressive production, in my opinion, that I have seen of a board game. Just you open it up. Uh, it's layers of inserts in boxes. They're really really nice looking. Everything just fits the way that it's supposed to. Of course, Everdell's always had beautiful components. You got the squishy berries from the start, uh, but they just kept it up through every single expansion. And I couldn't ask for anything more for a final form of my favorite game. So this game was made possible by Kickstarter. Now, for those of you who don't know, Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform where like-minded people come together to help fund a project they believe on. This was a colossal one. Yeah, Millions Park Avenue's on Kickstarter, woohoo! Um, <laughs> but, so it was funded back in 2021 and we did some review for it. Now, this wasn't, I would say, without its faults throughout the course of it being fulfilled. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, there's just some communication things early on. Some of the updates were really vague. They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah we're working on it. Uh, and the people said, that's not good enough. We need to know kind of like where are things at? Can we see some pictures? They started to share those and I think people were pretty happy with yeah. it after that. Um, but again, they did say it would deliver March of this year and we're now looking at like November when a lot of people it's still arriving. So uh, it took, you know, good eight months past their estimated delivery date just to kind of complete things. Yeah. I think we probably could have guessed some of that a little bit better just thinking about like what we received in the mail. Like we got a stack of cards, a really well developed stack of a hundred and something cards, but uh, we didn't see the final board, the Mistwood mode. There, there was definitely still some development that happened mm -hmm. after that Kickstarter Yeah, campaign. there was definitely an overall yeah. feeling that it wasn't complete yet. So even though there were some bumps along the way with fulfilling the Kickstarter, we still believe 100% it is a amazing collection Perfect. and they did an overall fantastic job as Jonathan said earlier in the video he thinks this is the combination of the most perfect collection he has ever seen from production it is Just gorgous so mm -hmm. the theming the art the gameplay it it's is an no amazing expenses. game to have yeah box is thick too good quality just feeling that now it's thicker than yeah. the gloomhaven box yeah. that's nice yeah. so even with that eight mm -hmm. month delay 
I still think they did an amazing job with it. Um, communication could have been better, but the product that you are receiving is stellar. So with that being said, let's talk giveaway details because we are <laughs> so excited because now we have, a courtesy of Starling Games, we are have the complete collection. We are excited to be giving away our copy of Everdell plus the brand new shrink wrapped new leaf and mistwood now our copies are like new um yeah, and, let's stop and, yeah. and say that for a second literally like we treat this game like it is the most precious thing on earth yes it is in perfect condition it's perfect condition you, you will not notice any issues yes. we've upgraded the tree to the wood tree as well uh, we have all the expansions, all the little like extra, extra rug work, all that stuff. So you're not going to be messing out on anything if you get this. Yeah. yeah. So it is <laughs> loved, but not loved, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so how we're going to do this giveaway, it is open Sorry, folks, just to people in the U.S. That is due to laws across the border. Also, shipping this massive box. And we're going to ship <laughs> all of these. It's so, going to be very expensive. <laughs> Merry Christmas to whoever gets this. <laughs> so, U.S. only. And how you're going to enter, you have to be subscribed to our channel. And you need to tell us down below what is your favorite character to play with, which favorite meeple, or if like, and if you look at the list of all of them, I'll list them in the description and pick the one you like the best, even if ones you never played before, you just like that animal. And, What's your favorite? Uh, I haven't played it, but I really like the butterflies, but I really like the bumblebee um, mechanic. Oh, so I like a new one too. I like the snails the best. Oh. Uh, they're my absolute favorite. But that said, I will always be a fan of the cardinal. Yeah. Uh, I just, I love the cardinal. And my go-to yeah. is the hedgehogs. <laughs> um, I like yeah. that very action that you get. <laughs> um, so that is how you get it. You have to be subscribed, comment down below who your favorite, um, what your favorite meeple is. And then three weeks from now, we will be giving away all of that to one lucky person. So <laughs> we wish you guys luck. We are so excited to do this. The one thing I ask, uh, and we talked about oh, this yeah. a little bit. Um, so you may have played Everdell before, great. You may even own Everdell and some of the expansions. We ask that you don't enter this if you have every single expansion except New Leaf and Mistwood. Mm -hmm. So if you have Spirecrest or you have Pearlbrook but you don't have everything, um, then great, please enter. Uh, and then when you receive this in the mail, then give away your copy or give away our copy of whatever's yeah. extra that you don't have. Uh, we're totally fine with that if you already own some Everdell stuff. Um, just like, you know, as long as it's not just New Leaf and Mistwood that you're missing, we'd love to give you this whole collection yeah. and have you pass along that love to someone else. Yeah. And please do share it. Let other people know too. We'd love to get more people in on this giveaway. We'd love to get more subscribers out of this too. More views on this means more giveaways we can do in the future. Yes. But yeah, as <laughs> always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Starling Games for the Everdale collection. I love uh, <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever we put out a new video and know about giveaways. And as always, happy, happy playing! playing.